Can you see the texture? This is what you're looking for. Texture just like this. Okay. You want to feel like clay in your hands. That's, uh... What's going on YouTube fam? Today we're going to show you how to make a beautiful pie crust just as you see in the picture there using simple ingredients. Flour, butter, sugar, salt, and water. Five ingredients. With those five ingredients, we'll get a nice pie dough ball like that. And uh, we'll put it on the scale, we'll weigh it, we'll split them in fours, and then eventually we'll get a beautiful, beautiful uh, pie crust that is just gonna be absolutely amazing. Just like that, a nice pie shell. You'll be able to use this pie crust recipe for your pumpkin pie, as well as any sweet potato pie recipe that you may have. And if you just look at those pie shells, look at that crust on that pie shell. It is just absolutely phenomenal. Tastes great, buttery, flaky. It is just the real deal. It is the pie recipe that you want to use. If you want this to be your go-to, as well as uh, for any chicken pot pie uh, recipes that you may have, this also, this pie crust will be flaky. It will be buttery. It will be your pie crust go-to, without question. This chicken pot pie of mine is a fan favorite, but the thing that I look forward to the most is biting down into that crust. It's flaky, it's buttery, it is phenomenal. We also like using this uh, pie crust recipe for our apple pie, and as you can see, boy, that crust, that pie crust looks amazing. So basically, you can use this with anything you want. You can use it with blueberry pie, apple pie, chicken pot pie, whatever you desire. So without further ado, let's get into this pie crust recipe. Okay, this is gonna be our pie crust recipe. So we're gonna start out, this is gonna be for four crusts, top and bottom. Uh, so it's gonna make two pies all together, top and bottom two and two okay so we're gonna usually if we were just making a top and a bottom we would start out with about 300 grams of all-purpose flour to start out but since we're making two pies that means we need four crusts two bottoms two tops and so we're going to add 600 grams of uh, flour to the bowl here we're going to zero the scale out. And we're going to add 600 grams Six hundred grams of flour to the bowl. That's 600 grams of all-purpose flour. Now we're gonna add some salt and some sugar. Gonna zero the scale out again. Typically we would use a half a tablespoon, but we're gonna use a full tablespoon, which is uh, just, just a little bit uh, it's actually about uh, almost 12 and a half grams. So we're gonna, we're gonna put about 12 and a half grams of sugar into our mixture here. Here's my sugar. It's 13, that should be okay. It's just a little over. No big deal. And as you see, we're gonna sprinkle the sugar into the mix here.
Now it's time for the salt. And if we were just making two crusts, we would use three grams of salt. But since we're making four crusts, top and bottom, for two pies, uh, we're gonna use, instead of three grams, we're gonna use uh, six grams of salt. And this is gonna be uh, sea salt. All right, there's our six grams of sea salt. Going to add the salt into the bowl. This is a real simple recipe, really, really easy, but I tell you, it's going to be some of the best crust that you can make. It's going to be flaky, it's going to be buttery, and it's just, you can use this for your pies, you can use it for your pumpkin pies, your chicken pot pies, your apple pies, your blueberry pies. You can use this recipe for all of them, okay? Don't have a food processor, so uh, we're gonna do this the old fashioned way. And we're just gonna whisk everything together. comes the task with the butter. So we're gonna have to chop up, and dice up four sticks of butter. Rule of thumb, rule of thumb is one stick of butter per crust. Since we need four crusts, we're gonna use four sticks of butter. And we're gonna sit here and we're gonna dice this all up and then we're gonna add it to the flour. This butter is going to give it a nice flaky, buttery uh, taste. Flaky texture, buttery taste. And I tell you, you can't sacrifice when it comes to your... Uh, you just can't make those sacrifices. We're going to add this, we're going to add this into the bowl. and the taste is off the charts. Just absolutely off the charts. Doesn't have to be perfect. You just want to try to get as much diced butter in your dough so that uh, all parts of your, or should I say crust, you just want to make sure that all parts of your crust has that buttery, flaky uh, texture and taste. process here but uh, poor guy like me I can't afford a food processor <laughs> uh, 
this is it. We're, we're, we're done here with our butter, and now we have to just mix this butter in. If anybody wants to sponsor me out there, give me a nice uh, food processor, it'd be very much appreciated. Speed up the videos, okay? <laughs> Butter is all finished. Now we have to mix this butter in. All right, this is what it looks like. As you can see there. Now we're gonna mix this uh, butter in uh, with the flour. Yeah, if you was using a food processor, uh, you would post these ingredients together or even in a mixer that you can bind all these ingredients. We're gonna do it by hand. We're gonna do it by hand. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix this all together. We're gonna do a technique. It's almost like a pinch and drop. So we're gonna mix it all together here. Get the flour all on the butter. And then we're just gonna pinch it and drop it. Just gonna pinch. We're just pinching the butter to the flour. Just pinching it together here. Yeah, food processor, this, this process will go a lot quicker, but we don't have a food processor. So we're just gonna pinch it and drop it. Just pinching the butter to the flour. And before you know it, it's gonna become like a crumb. And then we're gonna add our water to it. We're gonna hydrate it with some water. is going to make four pie crusts. Two for the bottom, two for the top. If your fingers get tired, take a break. This might take five to ten minutes to get it to where you want it to be. Pinch and drop, that's the technique. Pinch it and you drop it down. You wanna do this till all this starts to develop like a crumb type texture. What we're trying to do is we're trying to mix the butter into the flour so that when you bake this, when the pie is done, you have that flaky texture all along having that buttery taste and that's the objective you want this pie crust to have that buttery flaky goodness and this is a, this is a recipe that you use when you're showing off when you have people who you really love people who you're really close with this is a. Uh, this is what you use when they come over for dinner. You use this recipe here, because this recipe is is simple, but it's effective. I think most people who would uh, make this pie crust, they would be doing it in a food processor. Unfortunately, I don't have a food processor, so I have to do it the old fashioned way. But the food processor is so much quicker. You just put all the ingredients in and you pulse it, and it's done in a, in a snap. Here, we, 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 we're not that fortunate. We have to do this by hand. And it's a little process, but it's, it's well worth it. See how it's starting to turn into a, a crummy type texture? That's the objective, that's what we want. We want it to turn into a crummy type texture. 
and get all that loose flour and incorporate it into our butter mixture here. We're, we've almost accomplished that. As you can see, it's pretty much all crumbs now. So we're gonna get ready to add our water. You don't wanna overdo it with the water either. So we're gonna just add about four tablespoons off the bat. And then we'll, we'll do it tablespoon by tablespoon after that. There's a certain texture that you want and you don't want it to be too watery. I think we pretty much got all the flour incorporated. It's all pretty much crummy. And this is the texture that we wanted. Now we're gonna get the water. I'm going to add water into this mixture here. Okay, as you can see, we have our ice water. And we're going to use, I'm guessing, somewhere in the neighborhood of five to six tablespoons. But we're going to put four in, and then we'll go from there. We'll see how uh, the texture uh, is. And if it needs more water, then we'll add uh, a tablespoon, a half a tablespoon at a time after that. So uh, this is our first tablespoon. And we're going to add, and this is ice water. Make sure your water is nice and cold. I'm going to add another tablespoon. So this is two so far. Feels good. We've only added three tablespoons. But it feels like uh, you see the texture here. This is what we're looking for. Something that we can work with. Scrape the bowl, trying to get everything. All right. This really feels good in my hand. It really does. So I'm like we could work this. So as you can see, I only put three tablespoons in. Three tablespoons of water, that is. And you see the texture? This is what you're looking for. Texture just like this. Okay? You want it to feel like clay in your hands. That's uh, pretty much what it feels like. It feels like clay. I think, uh, I think we're where we need to be at with this. So we'll be back. Okay, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna weigh this and we're gonna split it into four parts. So let's put it in our, we're gonna zero out our scale. We're gonna weigh this. table's been sanitized. The 
balls are going to be approximately 269 to 270 grams. Let's weigh them all to see exactly where they're at. Dough ball one, 268. Dough ball two, 268. Dough ball three, 268. And dough ball four, 269. So there we are. We've divided all the dough balls and they weigh pretty much the same. Except for this last one, it was a gram more than the rest, and that's no big deal. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna form these into like a hockey puck. Alright, we're gonna form them like that. And then we're gonna wrap them up. And we'll either put these in the freezer, you can put them in the freezer, and they'll last for months, three, four months inside the freezer there. And this is about the size that we want. It's gonna be shaped like a hockey puck. We're gonna wrap this with saran wrap. I'll probably use these today, so I'll put them in the refrigerator for about four hours or so. And try to let all the ingredients come together. freezer. You can put it overnight if you're going to use it tomorrow or you can put it in there for three to four months or you can put it in the fridge which I'm going to do and this is going to go in the fridge for four hours. It's going to look just like that. All right, wrapped it up. It's going in the fridge. I'm going to let these uh, ingredients come together. Okay. Like I said, we're going to shape this into a hockey puck. Same thing. Just gonna form it into a hockey puck. And this is pie dough pie crust number four. As you can see, we have all four there. This is going to be some of the best time that you've ever spent in baking um, this pie crust. This dough, this pie uh, crust recipe, very, very simple, but yet it's going to shoot you to the moon when it comes to the flavors that it gives you. Just simple ingredients. You have your flour. You have your sugar, you have your salt, and you're gonna uh, butter and water. Flour, sugar, salt, butter, and water. Those are the five ingredients that you need. And this is gonna take your pie baking to new heights. Whether you're making chicken pot pies, this is what I'm gonna use this for. I'm gonna use it for my chicken pot pie recipe. Um, whether you're baking blueberry pie, but, uh, sweet potato pie, pumpkin pie, apple pie, whatever type of pie you're, you, you're baking, 
this is the go-to crust uh, that you want to use. All right, this this pie crust recipe. So bon appetit, people. This is going to wrap our video up. Bon appetit, and like I said, you're going to uh, either put this in the freezer, and you can put it up in the freezer up up upwards to three to four months. Um, it's going to taste so good. You're not going to wait three to four months to use this. Or you could put it in the fridge if you're going to use it same day. I would recommend putting it into the fridge for about uh, three to four hours. Let every, all the flavors come together and uh, mature together. And uh, yeah, this is this is the real deal, folks. Bon appetit! All right. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know in your comments um, uh, if you decide to make this uh, dough uh, pie crust recipe let me know in your comments how you like it and uh enjoy bon appetit peoples bon appetit